Hello, today we're going to be talking about the ethical use of resources for educators, focusing on the topics of copyright, fair use, and creative commons. Copyright is a legal protection for creators that encourages creativity. It does this by allowing creatives to determine when, where, and how their original works can be shared with others. So if you have a copyrighted work, which all of us do, you need explicit written permission from the copyright holder before you can share it. Copyright protection begins once a creative work is saved in a tangible medium, such as printed, written down, or recorded. It cannot just be an idea. And even if a source does not have a copyright symbol, it still has copyright protection. Copyright does not just apply to famous authors, writers, musicians, etc. It applies to your students and you as well. For example, if your students create an original story in language arts, when they write down their story, they have copyright protection for that work. Let's talk about the ways we can use copyrighted materials ethically. Fair use is the way which you can use a copyrighted material without permission, only under certain circumstances. You have to start by examining the purpose of using the copyrighted work. Thankfully, using copyrighted material in educational circumstances is often fair use. But this doesn't mean you can use the entire book or story, only the parts that are necessary. And you must credit or attribute the original source or creator and make sure your use does not prevent the creator to profit from their original work. And you might be thinking, this is getting complicated. How else can I find resources ethically? A great place to look is Creative Commons. Creative Commons is an organization that focuses on helping people share and expand on others' knowledge and creativity. They do this by providing simple, free, standardized licenses that grant public permission for work to be used in different manners. There are six different types of Creative Commons licenses that vary in level of permission. So where can I find these licenses and Creative Commons sources? There are three places you can start. First is Openverse, which allows you to search by keyword and then you can filter. Flat Icon for icons and graphics and SoundCloud for music and audio. So let's briefly summarize what we've learned about the ethical use of resources. Copyright protects the creator. You need permission to use a copyrighted work. Fair use is often a way teachers can share copyrighted material without having explicit permission but it can be complicated and often subjective. Start by looking for copyright friendly resources such as Creative Commons licenses. Remember to correctly attribute the original work, creator, or source when you use it. And lastly, when in doubt, it's better to play it safe than risk breaking copyright law.